the Sony HS 1177 camera typically comes with this type of uh, programming cable has a small four pin end for the camera this uh, joystick control in the center and uh, a power input and a video output the video output cable uh, isn't uh, common to anything I use so I've taken one of them and modified it changing to a JST connector for the input power and just putting a standard RCA type connector on for the video out uh, with this setup I can easily use a, a 2S battery uh, with a JST connector to power the setup uh, if you purchase the same camera as a Foxeer HS 1177 it comes with a more useful programming cable uh, this one already has the RCA connector on it um, it has the same power connector uh, which for example is, is this type so plugged into a 3S battery in this case I can deliver power to the camera for programming uh, the camera is rated supposedly for 5 to 22 volts so 2S batteries or 3S batteries are fine for this application. For programming the camera, plug the, all the cables in, uh, plug the camera in, plug the battery in, and then I use this uh, double ended RCA extension cable uh, to plug into the, jo the uh, joystick programming control uh, and the other end to the TV. With the camera set up here, stuck on some blue tack, I've plugged it into the TV and put a camera focus chart alongside the TV. So the first thing I'll do is adjust the focus. Although this one looks pretty good, I'll go through the process with you. It's just a matter of loosening the locking ring at the front of the camera there and rotating the camera lens in or out to adjust the focus. As I wind the lens in and out, you'll see the focus change on that TV image there. So the idea being to adjust the focus on that chart until all of those lines seem to converge at the center with the minimal amount of blur. Once I'm there, just uh, turn that lock ring back into place and that is the focus set. I'll step you through the process to change from the factory settings here to my preferred settings keeping in mind that what we're adjusting here is to optimize it for outdoor use so I'm sort of not paying too much attention to whether it looks better inside here uh, what I do know is that changing these settings does make it uh, better for outdoor use so first of all the lens menu stays there on manual come down to exposure and enter the exposure menu uh, shutter stays on auto Brightness increased to 65. AGC stays the same there. DWDR on, and I enter that menu. Increase that level to maximum, 63. Then return back to this menu. Return back again to the main menu. So that's exposure set. Uh, backlight remains off. The white balance menu here is uh, something I need to change um, when I look at a piece of paper or something outside. So what I do is I change this to AWC set like this and then I'm going to move the camera out while that's set like that uh, or in that position. Now I can unplug it from the TV, take it outside, point the camera at a piece of white paper out in the sun press the enter key on the joystick and then come back inside here to the TV. So I'll put a piece of white paper down there in the sun. Point the camera at the paper and press the enter key on the joystick. 
and that will set that AWC. Now back inside. Now with the camera set up back inside, I'll plug it back into the TV. And hopefully the dog doesn't realise he's on TV because he'll probably want to chase himself. Okay, so now that that AWC has been set outside, um, looking at the white piece of paper, move on to the next uh, setting here, the day and night, and we'll enter that menu. So the, the, uh, the day to night uh, level, increase that, oh sorry, decrease that to 80. Change the day night delay down to three seconds. The night to day level down to 32. Uh, reduce that night day delay down to one second and return back to the main menu. Okay, uh, in the special menu there is nothing to change so ignore that. Uh, in image adjust uh, we need to go in there, uh, leave the first few items alone, come down to contrast and we'll decrease that to about 100. There we go. And the sharpness, uh, we'll increase that up to 31. Display, change that to user and enter the display menu where we're going to uh, increase the gamma to 0.5 Change the PED level down to 25. Uh, colour gain, we'll wind that up to 220. And then return. Okay. So that's the display menu uh, there set. Negative image can re remain as it is. Uh, return. And we're back to the main menu. That's image adjust done. DPC is a dead pixel count. Uh, you can do that process if you like. You've got to cover the camera and it will show you any dead pixels. Um, I'm not, it's not part of the programming, so we're going to leave that. Language stays as English for me and we don't want to reset those settings. Uh, so exit and, oops, exit. And that's the job done. Now just wait for the dog to realise he's on TV.